Hello Decoders! Decode this. Tonight we're going to be talking about the Oscars and how great it was. We're not talking about the Oscars? We're talking about my weekend? Birthday stuff? <sighs> Hello Decoders! Decodists! So we're not talking about the Oscars, but I'm still gonna damn look sharp about this. So yeah, let's give a quick summary of things that have been going on. One, Mick Foley! <laughs> Foley, Foley, Foley. Two, I went to a wildlife park and there were so many great animals, such as birds. Oh my goodness, this chicken had no head! Lemurs, raccoons, and a monkey that has a John Green puff! I found Hedwig. Meerkats looking cute, and a cricket that was tempting fate with some lizards. Lizards, lizards, and more lizards. And snakes, but the worst thing is when it comes to the snakes was when the eyes were moving. Chipmunks and, and two mice like ferret things that are apparently one was frisking for evidence. Where are the drugs? Bats, lemurs, and goats, and a wallaby with a joey! More birds, lions, llamas, emus, tigers fighting majestically. I mean, they are just so amazing and majestic. And oh my freaking god, they're next to the penguins. Oh my goodness, they're feeding them. The nerd in me is just exploding here because it's just like tigers, penguins, tigers, penguins, oh my god, otters! I mean, seriously, Decoders, I may have not been the biggest otter fans beforehand, but just, oh my goodness, look at them go, and this one lawns like a lion! Also, otters offer the best dating advice, simply being, if you're worried about the first kiss, the rule is, don't kiss like an otter. Yeah, unless you haven't been paying attention to Twitter, today is my birthday and I turn 25. Yeah, I do not feel old at all. Lived a quarter of a century, managed to go through four decades, two centuries, two millenniums, and still look good. A lot of fun was had, particularly mostly over the weekend, and obviously on this day, a bit more quiet down. But to say I didn't have fun is not true. And also with birthdays, most people celebrate with a cake. I, however, celebrated with Krispy Kremes. But yeah, also, this week sees the day of World Book Day, and unless you are unaware, Maureen Johnson has put the name of the star as one pound only. So, today I thought was a good day to go and buy the books. Not at all, I saw the Muppet film in a theatre by myself. Like, no one else was there, just me. It was like, my own personal theatre. Yeah. Wait, that didn't feel cool enough. Let's try this again. Yeah, my own personal theatre. But the other thing is, oh, as I said, I went to get some Maureen Johnson copies of The Name of the Star and the people at Waterstones, who are always fantastic every time, they were unsure about this and they went Hey what's this, are you allowed to buy these things? Of course I am. How can we be so sure of this? I can prove it by simply being a certified Maureen Johnson book reader. So Dakotas, the one important thing that I must say is to emphasize a few things. One, you should see Mick Foley whenever he's doing a comedy tour. He is absolutely hilarious. Two, See otters for real, and go and see places with tigers and penguins. OMG otters! Three, try and see a film where you're the only person in the whole theatre, because as I said, that kind of felt epic. Four, buy Maureen Johnson's book and whatever is available for one pound if you're in the UK. Now remember, these are the only books that are not restricted to up to 18 years old, so feel free. I think I'll be giving away a couple of these copies of The Name of the Star to anyone who hasn't read it, because seriously, I recommend this, and the fact that I got it cheap means that you get it for nothing, because obviously I have to pay for postage. So with all that, I'm gonna wrap it up and ask one, what is your favorite animal decoders? Two, are you a person that goes, OMG otters? Three, what was the last thing you did for your birthday and what do you plan to do for your next one? Four, have you read the name of the star yet? And if not, why? And five, for those who are appealed by the idea of the 13 blue envelopes challenge but missed out on it, it is still ongoing, but stay tuned for a new challenge coming soon. But again, I want to thank you all for what has been an epic year as a 24 year old and I'm looking forward to all the adventures that a 25 year old stuff is gonna be bringing. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you all soon. Also as a side note, the next part of the series will be uploaded this Saturday. I realise it went two weekends about, but that was partly because of busyness and also some technical problems. But it will be returning soon, but also stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. Until then, allons-y!